Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Residence Report for Wednesday, November the 1st. It's the first of the month. Remember the date. Yes. All right, so the graph looks quiet. It looks nice and smooth, just like it has for the last couple days. But just like yesterday, there was a sneak attack. This is the other graph I look at. This is the sneak attack from yesterday. As you can see, all three lines were involved today. We are just in the upper lines. That means the upper chakras are being opened for us. When I asked in meditation, what does that mean? What I heard was that sometimes what happens is a lot of the energy that we receive, especially in the big giant spikes that we have been getting, kind of sits in your energy field until you're ready to absorb it. That is for many different reasons. The most likely reason, and sorry, I love you, but it's because of you and the blockages you have. There's nowhere for the energy to go, so it sort of congregates around you like blah, 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 like this. Now, what I heard in meditation is that you guys and me and me too, we've been doing some work. We've been working on seeing ourselves where we want to see ourselves, making those those little plan steps, uh, inspired action steps to move forward to where we want in the new life we want to have. And that little bit of energy, this is the wrong graph. Hold on. And this little bit of energy coming forward to open up all of our upper chakras, our crown, our third eye, and our throat are all being opened by this. Not forced open, and we're not having energy pushed through. It's just being opened kind of like a flower so that we can start to pull down some of this energy that's been waiting for us to do that in our energy field. It's just kind of hanging out like blah, 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 blah. So now, now you've done some work. You've started to believe in yourself. You started to take actionable steps. And if you've done that, or if it at least you're working up to that. Now these chakras are being opened just a little bit like this so that some of this energy that's kind of hanging around us like this can start to drain down and distribute into the chakra where it's needed. That's how it works. I feel like that was a lot of talking, but that's how it works. So for me, what this means is today I am tired. I am tired, tired, tired because all that energy is starting to drain down. I did not want to wake up this morning and that is very unusual for me, friends. Can I just say how great my hair looks today? And I literally just got out of bed. I don't mean to brag, but damn. So as this energy starts to drain down, you may have symptoms related to those chakras. If it's the third eye, you could have pressure, tingling, that sort of thing. If it's the throat, you could have a little bit of froggy like in here, because I know I need to start talking about the decisions that I've made in my life to move forward. So I can feel it in my throat. You know what I mean? Again, this is not a huge energy push all the stuff out that's in this space. So it's not going to be as... Um, I don't know the right word, not disruptive, not difficult, not as strong maybe. It's not going to be as strong because nothing's being pushed through. It's simply being allowed. That's a big difference. Big difference. The energy we're receiving today is allowing these three big chakras to open up and integrate energy that's been in your system waiting to be integrated since last week when we got the big push. Why hasn't it been integrated? Because you've got you before. Uh, sometimes when I start to channel, I trip all over my words. I'm sorry. The reason it's opening now is because you have taken actionable steps towards the life you want to live. If you've been doing that, even tiny little actionable steps, even as small as daydreaming about what you want to do, you've been doing some work. So now these chakras are opening to integrate some of that higher vibrational energy, myself included. Spend today thinking about your plans. Spend today making action happen. Spend today putting more detail into what you're gonna do. Really build it up, put it out there. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do it in this much time and I'm gonna be this happy and I'm gonna accomplish this and do all the things, put it out there. That will help bring down some of the creative energy that we've been receiving in the last week and integrate it into your system, friends. But yes, it's going to make you sleepy and it's going to make you worn out feeling and your joints might hurt a little bit and that sort of thing. Because when that energy integrates, friends, sometimes it's not easy because it's a higher vibration than where you are. So as your body acclimates, you may have tummy upset and all the things, but it's not going to be as bad as when we get those big energy pushes. Because remember, this is about opening the door to allow and not forcing, not forcing. So get some rest today, take care of yourself, drink some clean water, eat some clean food, and have a beautiful day. Have, have a good day. Like for real, have a good day.